live. <clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time when we left off, we were finally ready to head into the Sierra Madre vault for our final confrontation with Elijah and to wrap up the uh, Dead Money expansion to New Vegas. Excitement abounds. Ahoy, shiny pirate. Good morning, Lone Wonder. How is everyone today? Oh, we are dehydrated. Easy fix. I keep forgetting there's clean water in the casino, but it doesn't really matter. We're not exactly hard up for purified water either. Yes, I did sleep well, thank you for asking. Morning number one Reaper, morning his headness. I'm doing very well today, thank you all for asking. So our objective on Heist of the Centuries is thread Mir Vera's music sequence together at the receptionist terminal in the lobby. Access music controls. Retrieve theater ambient track. Retrieve restaurant ambient track. Retrieve suites ambient track. Back. Gain access to the Sierra Madre vault. Note added, Vera Keys Begin Again song. Note added, Vera Keys Let the Bright Light In, Vera Keys Go to the Far Away song. Good morning, Cyclo. How are you? You have a holotape of Vera Key's melody, Begin Again. You have a holotape of Vera Key's melody, Let the Bright Tomorrow In. And you have a holotape of Vera Key's melody, Go to the Far Away. I believe at this point we will not be able to return back to the casino, so... Let's go ahead and carry all of our shit with us. And let's head back to the suites. Good morning, St. Louis. How are you, my friend? Doors on this floor are all operated manually in an emergency. The place is locked up tight. Must be key cards around somewhere. So if we track back through here, we can just go on back to Christine into the vault entrance. Afternoon, Iron. How are you? <laughs> right, let's talk to Christine again. Christine. You're back. You sure you still want me here? Callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. I found the phrase for the elevator's audio lock. You did? Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet, she didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? This place, I'm not sure it doesn't feel like a casino. Not entirely. Maybe it was a trust issue? He built this place for her, it feels like. 
I have no idea. Let's unlock it. The phrase is contained in the lyrics to a song. I know. The sealed doors, the security. It's almost a fortress. Think that's why we're being ordered to come here and crack it open? Guess it's the object of someone's obsession or affection. The target's the vault, not the casino, right? Love makes people do strange things. I won't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't connect. If they loved each other and they were together, I suppose that's all that mattered. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. And who knows where he is? I need you here, so sit tight. Fine. I hear my collar beeping, though. I've got the route to the exit all mapped out. So we can bring Christine along with us, but we want her to survive, which means we need to leave her behind. Well, hold on. Let me quick save and make sure she's actually going to do what I want at this juncture. Feels like a sore throat after chewing on me. You're back. Sure. I've dealt with the others and I've got the key phrase. Surprised that super mutant didn't eat you. And don't get me started on Dean. So, I just... Maybe it was a trust issue? He built this place for her, it feels like. It's possible. This place is immense. And it still has power, food dispensers, security. Is it all for pre-war guests? Or for her? I have no idea. Let's unlock it. The phrase is contained in the lyrics to a song. All right. If you go down there, are you prepared? What if you don't come back? I've got you to come down after me. It'll respond to your voice. No. What does that mean? If we stay here, the cloud and the holograms will answer that. I just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. He'll come here to the suites. When he does, let him go through. I can't let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not going to show himself until you go down there. Do you trust me? If you do, let go of this. Or, if he kills you, I won't be able to get out. I know. And he will kill me. I can't get the collar off. Even if I could, I need to be sure. See his eyes, his face when he dies. I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... He's done so much worse. If you... If you try and kill him, I can't let you do it. If you die, you'll kill us both. Let him come through the suites. Follow me. If he escapes, you'll still be here waiting. You have to promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... He won't escape, I swear. All right. All right, I'll... But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and... Don't tell me where you're going. I'll find you after this. I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. Begin again. But know when to let go. <laughs> Sounds like you. Oh, hi, Tiff. You're awake already? Begin again. But no one to let go. Discover the secrets of the Sierra Madre at the vault's central chamber. Here goes. 
this. Ha ha ha. The original Vault 13 theme from Fallout 1. I like it. spend six hours trying to get the gold. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. need to unencumber myself again so let me take a second and dump all my junk in here Here we go. Maintenance Access Terminal. Elevator Protocols. Warning. Warning. If Vault Security is disabled and the Vault Terminal is breached, the elevator will automatically return to the suites and lock permanently in place. 
After that, there is no way to operate the elevator, and the vault area is sealed off. As requested by Mr. Sinclair, there is no manual or terminal override once the elevator is locked. Once initiated, it cannot be undone. Until that time, the elevator may be operated freely from the terminal above. Open maintenance access. Alright, there we go. case. I know we've got speakers in here, so I can see it. Alright, we're about to drop. Let me go stash the junk items I just picked up right quick. I know we'll be back here because the elevator's the only way in or out, so... Stash toolbox. And you can see the cloud is active down there again. So, don't want to mess with the bottom of that room yet. Worker's notes. This job doesn't pay enough. Working down here with those walking light shows gets on my nerves. And the elevator. Does Sinclair know how dangerous it is to have the elevator lock like that? If someone accidentally trips the dead man's switch inside his vault, even Sinclair himself, this whole place becomes a big metal coffin. Lou tried to tell him, and Sinclair said it would be user error. I don't think there's actually anything in this lower level, but I'd like to be sure. Oh. A couple of cans shows what I know. Anything else? No, that's actually it. Good. Where the hell is it? There's a red speaker right up there. There's got to be a safe zone somewhere. Up, oh, there we go. Whew, okay. Hi, Medusa. How are you? That's better. Alright. 
Let's look around the cloud pollution in case of goodies. I don't actually see any. A bunch of tin cans in that corner. Stash toolbox here. So there is some stuff down here. I'm going to reload. I just need to plan out my grab route. Best thing I think is going to be two. Jump down around here, get that stash toolbox. And then sweep around to get those tin cans. faster. Shut alarms down. There, that turned off the red speakers. Christ, man. That was annoying. <laughs> Alright, anyway. There we go. And bonus, now there's apparently only one way to go. Hmm. Duffel bag. Security holograms. Not sure how there's a fresh apple in here after all these years, but don't question the video game logic too much. Control. Set behavior. Water valve control patrol. Check security hologram status. Currently patrolling water valve control. Mr. Sinclair, EBE. Set behavior. Computer control patrol. Mr. Sinclair, EBE. Welcome, and on behalf of your friends at NE, we thank you for purchasing the latest in service and security technology. If you encounter any problems, contact our urgent care service representatives at any time during the weekdays from 10 to 2 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If no one is there to respond to your emergency, leave a message and one of our trained representatives will return your call in the next three to four working days. There, we heard the entire history of the Sierra Madre. That's neat. Okay. Huh. 
Hologram control. Shut alarms down. Oof. Turn off security force field. Excellent. is emitter. Alright, get rid of all the guards. Wonder if there's actually anything down there. It looks like, unfortunately, there is. Turret terminal password. That seems to be it for there, and actually for this room, speaking more generally, which is nice. So let's heal up and head down this last unexplored hallway. Vault turret terminal password. Don't use this unless strictly necessary. The vault is off limits. There is no reason to enter it unless your clearance is personally approved by Mr. Sinclair. Still, if anything were to go wrong with those security systems, use this password in the turret defense terminal inside the vault's chamber. Hard Arrow, Lou Martin, M&M Construction Inc. Crew Chief. Vault security terminal. Vault security system protocols. Warning. Okay. Maintenance staff warning. Sierra Madre vault security protocols. Security on. Elevator dispatch to executive suites. Security turrets active, not shielded. Electric barriers, seal vault. Security off. Ele elevator dispatch to executive suites. Security turrets off and shielded. Electric barriers down. Disengage vault security protocols. Warning. Elevator will depart shortly upon security shutdown. Proceed. Yes. Disengaging vault security. Note added. Vault security protocols. And look, here we are. Back in the main vault room. Extracted holotape. This holotape looks like it was ripped from a terminal drive. Vera, if you're reading this, I know what you and Dean had planned tonight on the eve of the gala event. I loved you very much, and whatever possessed you to choose Dean's arm over my hand is beyond me. Whether it was greed or lust, it has led you here and will forever keep us apart. I hope it leaves you as empty as you left me. 
As much as you sought what was inside the Sierra Madre, now it will keep you. The door has sealed, the elevator has left, and not even your voice will unlock it. This casino was my gift to you, and you now will be its heart for all time. Sincerely, Frederick Sinclair. Vault door terminal. We won't mess with that just yet. Gotta see if there's anything down in the cloud. I don't think there actually is. Oh, Sinclair's bag. Nikola Tesla and you. The Founder's remains. Huh. How about that? Can we get back out? There's gotta be a way. There we go. All right, I think we're ready. Let's drop all the extra stuff we picked up. Just in case. Let's still go ahead and grab a couple more microfusion cells, although if memory serves, we're not going to need them. I'm gonna make another anchor save before I actually head into the main vault room. Wrap this joker up. door terminal. Vault door control. Warning. Only the trustworthy may enter my vault. FS. Unlock door to vault. Unlocking vault seals. So the turrets have gone active. Vault turret terminal. So we have the password. Reprogram turret defenses. Access denied. Security system locked down. Inspect turret electric generator. <clears throat> this generator powers turret defenses in the vault. Inscribed in its side, you can read turret defense generator B. You may be able to smash the generator. Melee weapons 50 or higher required. Leave the generator alone. Vault security terminal. Disengage vault security protocols. Open vault door requires key. Reprogram turret defenses. Still can't do that, huh? Let's get all the go ahead and get all the goodies in here. Of which, as you can see, there are many. Big 
biggest thing is all the gold bars, but I'll mess with those in a moment. Gold bars weigh 35 pounds each, so we will be encumbered if we try to take the once we try to take those. Oh, oh we're in, we're encumbered already. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and get everything. It's one last vending machine if we need it. All right. Let's use this last terminal, the vault control terminal. Vera Keys. Holodisk extracted, file not found. Vera. Important. Vera, read. To Vera. Vera, if you are reading this, my fears have come to pass, and this is an apology. I hope you realized what my last words meant to you. If so, they have led you here, and this place will keep you safe. I know what they meant for me, and I fear they have trapped me here. I have extracted the previous entry after our conversation tonight. It can't have been easy for you, and I am sorry for all I've put you through in silence. I know while you did not love me, while you do not love me, you did not mean any malice in what you did. I knew about your plans to rob the casino with Dean before you told me. Hearing it from you didn't make it any easier. For what it's worth, I am glad you told me yourself, and I understood the tapes he had in his possession. I do not think either one of you realized what your addiction stemmed from, however, and that is the tragedy in this. I suspect the world would not have believed you regardless, so I respect your desire to keep it from others. When first building this villa, this casino, I meant it for you. As the world seemed to race headlong toward war, it became part of my desire to protect you. The loans, the funding I poured into the casino's construction, I knew it would not matter when war came for us. It was my means of creating a shelter, a defense, if the world was bombarded in radiation and bombs. When Dean revealed his plans inadvertently through our introduction, I realized what had happened and how I had been tricked. For a time, my thoughts were dark. I changed the casino vault from a shelter to a trap, as I knew the first one to enter would be Dean. He would die down here, and it would have been by his own hand. I fear, however, that I overstepped myself, and the only safe place in the casino is the vault. I have tried to rewire the systems, change the protocols, and I cannot. I will do one last check on the pipes by the edge of the outside platform and see if anything can be done. I fear it is useless. If you come down here, do not access my personal accounts entry. It contains only a message for Dean, and it will seal the door and you will have no way out. Even the elevator is designed to automatically return when the door is closed and it will lock in place. There should be enough in the vault to sustain you until help arrives. I have ensured that there is enough medical supplies down here to keep you comfortable. The hologram should defend the casino from any attackers, and the hologram beacon in the villa will broadcast an emergency signal so that others know you are here. When danger has passed, rescue will come. I hope you were able to read this and know that I loved you. Frederick Sinclair Alright, Sinclair's personal accounts. Well, obviously, we don't open that, because that's what triggers the failsafe. We need to remember that, though. You. You're in the vault, finally. After all this time. The Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault, and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. Still hiding behind images and screens, I see. You've got a lot to answer for. How did you access my pit boy? Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. And here you are. 
You've got a lot to answer for. Do I? For what? Your greed? Curiosity? You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. I've seen your Pip-Boy archives, your map markers and notes. You picked up the Sierra Madre signal just as I did. You couldn't resist. So if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no. The blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. How did you access my Pip-Boy? You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No machine is foolproof. They are designed to obey us. The Pip Boy's operating system has vulnerabilities, advantages to those who've studied its construction, even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Its real vulnerability is who wears it. And that's how you were caught. What do you mean? That thing on your wrist. It's a convenience. It tells you where to go. What to do dulls your brain. It may have helped you find the Sierra Madre broadcast, but it's just as much a crutch today as it was in the old world. Before this goes any farther, I had questions. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. You're Veronica's mentor, the elder who lost Helios I. Veronica? She survived Helios? She would. Resourceful. As for losing Helios I, that was the only outcome aside from retreat. NCR swarming like ants over old world relics. Hoover Dam. Helios. I won't let those... Children sees anything else. Hard. McNamara can't stop them. Won't. So I will. With the old world as my weapons. You want to attack NCR? All of NCR? Attack? No. Not attack them. Wipe the slate clean. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Undisturbed by man. I'll send the cloud. The holograms bring ruin in my hands until only I stand atop the Helios One Tower again. I'll scour the dam with the cloud, rain its walls with spears from the sun, with an army of old world ghosts behind me, holograms all. I'll kill them until it's only me, me alone. In a quiet world, in a world that's nothing like what happened at Helios 1. I don't care about the Republic. They're yours to kill. I know that. Their days were numbered since they occupied Hoover Dam. There's something else I wanted to know. Ask. You still have time. What do you want from the Sierra Madre? What do I want? Weapons. Security. A citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress. A weapon. A chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. I don't understand how an old world casino helps you do any of that. The cloud is unique in my its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. Properly? Are you kidding me? The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, there's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can't fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it, anyone stands against you, dies. If you secure that, that's all you want? No, 
There's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace, things to dismiss. Now they are far <coughs> more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. I can't argue that. Sources of food, supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. The cloud allows me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them using its technology with the right applications. You're nothing more than a killer that aspires to mass murder. You think I'm a murderer? If I was, I'd have set off your caller long ago. A caller ensures compliance, encourages cooperation. Think about it. Would you truly have gotten into the casino without those callers? No. Human nature is against us, always. Did you know that I had to keep adjusting the callers? Keep changing the rules to make this moment possible? What are you talking about? Every time, even with callers clutched at their necks, they would betray each other, kill each other to get inside the Sierra Madre. It... It was insanity. They could have had it all. It was so close, and... and they kept turning on each other, again and again. Cracking the Sierra Madre was difficult, but cracking greed, that was more difficult. So the dead man switches within. So you answered madness with madness? When your life is tied to another's, sacrifice and cooperation, they can be conditioned, learned, and you can focus on the matter at hand. Greed can be beaten, contained, controlled. You know it better than anyone, or I hope you do. It doesn't matter. A whole sad story. How did you get me here again? Everyone asks that. Should be asking how they plan on leaving. It only takes putting a collar on one to begin the chain. One with a collar may chain another, and that one another. That traps all over the wastes. The chain ends with the super mutant. Although with him, the caller wasn't even necessary. He only needed guidance. So someone else with a collar placed one on me? Who? The mutant. <laughs> he swallowed one of the collars. After that, he was mine. The caller wasn't even necessary. All his kind. They exist to be given orders. They're soldiers. Simple. Stupid. I asked him to fetch, and he did, even without the threat of death. Even when I stopped speaking to him, he continued to leave the villa, gather victims from the man traps out of habit. He must have found you in one of them. If so, he's probably forgotten. He only remembers my voice. He put the collar on you, dragged you here, because he doesn't know any better. It's in his nature, greedy and childlike. If Dog put a collar on me, why didn't he say so? Dog? Huh. Appropriate. It's what I called him. You've met him. You know why he forgot. His brain was ruined by FEV. His memory, wreckage. He may know the way back, somewhere. Deep down, I doubt it. He tracks by smell and instinct. Still, he could be trained. Do you know how to get out of here? Of course. I walked all this way. If you're worried, I'll give you a map back or show you the way out when this is all over. Something else I wanted to know. How did you find out about the Sierra Madre? It started with... Beneath the sun, a sun so close you could touch it. Moments like that, however, failures, can provide the brightest clarity. What happened next? After that, I wandered alone, saw the storms of the divide, walked among the ciphers of the west, traveled to the big empty. I heard the signal. The woman 
Ron's voice, the Sierra Madre promising a chance to begin again. Reverse my fortunes. All nonsense. I tracked the signal. Came here. Sculpted the city, using other hands. Kept dying on me, killing each other. You. You got the farthest of all. Where did you get the collars? The collars? They're pre-war tech. I suspect this great land had compliance issues before the war. It's one of a series of models. The one in your neck? Special. Easier to make adjustments. Unreliable in other ways. Notably radio interference. If they're pre-war tech, where did you get them? A place far from here called the Big Empty. Almost didn't make it out. There two others there. A woman. And a man. A courier. The woman was familiar. The other? I don't know what happened to him. I've never heard of the place you're talking about. Big Empty's a treasure box. A scientific graveyard old world misery. Like the Sierra Madre, there's treasures there, sleeping. Some awake. A holo rifle, the Saturnite alloy, the hologram technology, hibernation chambers, securitrons, the collars. Even the suits attached to those things, stalking the villa. That's only the surface of what's there. Right now, the Sierra Madre is what I want. Things to come. Something else I wanted to know. That's it. Now that I'm here, are you coming down? No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Unless you come down here, I'll destroy the vault, everything in it. I don't think so. It'd most likely trigger other security measures. If you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war. I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the signal if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious. Past the threats. We'll see how protected the vault is when I detonate this collar. All it takes is destroying a single terminal or holotape. Forget the vault. The elevator is only a single control box. The elevator? Then you'd be trapped for certain. No probability of escape. Having you wait up there forever with no way down sounds more appealing all the time. Even... Even if you the mechanism. There's a chance of repairing it. It might take years, but it's possible. Persist in threatening me or the Sierra Madre secrets. You're of no use to me. I'll set off your collar now. I'll clip the wires to this intercom, then the pit boy Designed the Sierra Madre. Their obsession with messing with frequencies and signals. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance if you resist. I'll use the collar even if it puts the vault at risk. Alright, save time. So Elijah comes in, and, uh, we want to hide behind this generator.
can see him there. We missed it. We actually got spotted, so... save but not a quick save sneak out of the vaults chamber area undetected trapping Elijah when he opens the vault now this is tough to do but every few seconds the computer just runs a check to see if we're in his line of sight just then. It's a little annoying, but it's all right. We'll make do. Getting too excited. I'm trying to move too fast. That time I waited too long. Go figure. Needed to move just a little faster that time, ironically. I can't rush, that's the problem. There's no rushing with all the gold on your in your inventory. Fuck you, buddy. What? Think you can run? This entire structure is mine to command. Security, weapons, all. You think you've outsmarted me? You're the one on the beach. You always 
escape the vault before your collar explodes. Later, bruh. <laughs> Eat shit, Elijah. Quest completed. Heist of the centuries. Dead money collar removed. Alrighty. Um, it's 7.05 and I need to end the stream before we leave, but uh, we still need to... While we're free to run around the villa, I still need to run and fetch the... Uh, the snow globe. So I'm going to stash my stuff in here. Yes, Naira and I got all the gold. Actually, no. I'm gonna go to my uh, I'm gonna go to my suitcase over here where I've got all my other villa loot stashed. Yes, I grabbed all my. No, I did not grab all my stuff in the metal box. Thank you. I don't really care. Well, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Shoot. Good call. <laughs> it's all good, though. We got it. It's just a matter of timing it right and then standing up. So that we move fast enough. It's a small window, but it's there. Huh? Watch this. Miles. What? You. Think you can run? Think you can trip? This entire structure is mine to command. Security. Weapons. All. Later, bro. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate the reminder. Oh, we would have left behind, like... Oh, we would have left behind Dean's tuxedo, Vera's outfit, cool, unique items, so... Now... We'll do just... We'll save the wrap-up for the next stream. I'm... We still got live ghost people, apparently. I'm thinking mainly of the, uh... I totally went the wrong way anyway. If I'm talking about my uh, briefcase where all my villa loot is. So, the... Uh, anyway, there it is. We got all the gold. I'm going to drop my stuff off in the briefcase and then the... Uh, in the next Fallout stream, which is actually going to be tomorrow morning, not Thursday, because... Uh, We'll be traveling Wednesday night out of town for Thanksgiving and out of town all the way through until the following Monday. <clears throat> we'll uh, get the snow globe, do all of the dead money wrap up, all that sort of jazz, so that uh, I can end today and, you know, go to work like I need to do. Is the cloud gone? Not taking damage. Somebody confirm if the cloud is gone, because that's pretty cool. Okay. I guess I don't really need it anymore, because I'm about to get my good shit back, but... Nonetheless... drop the stuff off. Then I'll give my spiel.
one thing that we missed out here in the villa is the Sierra Madre snow globe. So first order of business in tomorrow's stream will be to go find that. And then, honestly, most of tomorrow is probably just going to be housekeeping. We're going to be packing stuff out of the DLC, running back to the sink in the big empty, stashing everything, doing all that stuff that we have to do at the end of an expansion. So it promises to be a not terribly exciting stream, and I am sorry for that, but needs must be done, as you know. I like how surprised Nyrin is that I managed to get all the gold. <laughs> it just takes a little bit of trial there. Alright, so we're going to save here. And we are going to end the stream here. So, this has been Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We trapped Elijah in the vault and escaped with the casino's loot, including all of the gold bars. That was awesome. We're not quite done. We need to go grab the snow globe tomorrow, and then we need to pack everything out and get ready to return to the main game. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, go to the Thorn in Westside and start doing some... Uh, arena-style combat and some quests associated with that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Those of you who joined me live on Twitch, big audience this morning. End of Dead Money must be popular. Uh, if you're new here and you liked what you saw, I hope that you will consider hitting the follow button so that you can see us every time we go live. If you're watching later on on YouTube, I understand I stream at odd, unpredictable hours, generally early in the morning, but all of my content eventually makes its way over there, so if you like it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss anything. And finally, regardless of the platform you're on, I hope you'll consider joining our Discord server. The link to do so is either in the Twitch channel description or the YouTube video description. The Discord is where we make official announcements, we discuss games you'd like to see me play, and we just have a cool group of people who all love video games and hang out. The next stream is going to be more Fallout tomorrow morning. Mostly cleanup of the Dead Money DLC, preparation to return to the main game. If we have time, we're going to pick up where we left off in Westside and head to the Thorn. I hope to see most or all of you around for that, and have a wonderful day today. Take care.